How you doing, well, boys and girls? It's so good to see everybody. It's the Dead O Winter Show. Oh. <laughs> Should we tell them? <laughs> tell them anything you want. We're to. right in the middle of winter when we're taping this show. That's right. I mean, it is February. And I hope when I see it, February it's the one. 87 degrees in the shade. It, it is hot as a pistol outside. Something has gone wrong. Haywire with God's thermostat. Mm. Dear Laven and Larry. Cooking cheap is a breath of dogwood scented air <laughs> in the land of shake and bake. <laughs> Earth, Where is that from? Earthquakes and 100 degrees plus in October. This is from uh, Los Angeles, California, A. For an old Roanoke boy, Patrick Henry class of 1967, you're a real joy to hear. Well, thank you, but I didn't go to Patrick. Oh, oh probably talking about uh, you. No, I, I wasn't imagine. there then. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't teaching school. Then. Please send all the recipes you can stuff into the enclosed envelopes. And it goes on, and uh, that's been taken care of, by the way, and you'll be charged uh, $72. Keep cooking for a long time, guys. Gordon Finch of Los Angeles, California. Gordon Finch? Well, Lord. Do you know Gordon? Yes, I do. Do you really? Yes. Well, I'll that's be right. Darn. Hi, Gordon. Um, recently, I saw on TV a couple of men making candy. <laughs> I would appreciate your recipes. Well, Mrs. Marvin Pinkston from Fort Smith, Arkansas. I'm so glad you saw us. Arkansas. <laughs> they love us down mm -hmm. there. They sure do. Please send candy recipes. Sure enjoy your show whenever we get to see it. And one of the candy making was good. That, that has remains to be one of our most popular programs. Make me want to reach up and get some of the black walnut brittle, as they are my favorite nuts. I have cracked and picked them out of the shells many times with her eyebrows, <laughs> and I really enjoyed it. Kind of rough, but the eating was so good. Oh. Sincerely, Virginia, <laughs> the stuts of Bull Shoals, Arkansas. <laughs> My and gum. This is from Dora Mendoza of Downey, California, and she says she loves this. The program is great, but it's a shame it's on at midnight because she has to wake up to see us. Oh, that's terrible. Dear sirs, saw your show on TV in Hot Springs and was interested in the re receipts from other countries. The ones I saw that day were Cuban. Please send me and blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on and on. And that is from Mrs. Jane Ursery, Highway 70, Hot Springs, Arkansas. I saw your program for the first time tonight. I laughed a lot with you guys. It sure was a trip. Sorry, I'm not sure of all your of your names, but I think you work well with one another. We're well, not either so sometimes. I like to watch cooking shows and find it uh, something to know. I can't read. It that. is something. To know someone can find a fun approach to it and also enjoy plus have fun with what they are doing. I will watch your show every time you air. Please let me tell you something and I hope it would not upset or offend you for I mean no harm at all and if taken wrongly accept my extended apology. Well what? <laughs> I can't tell it. <laughs> Once again, if this offends you, Please look over this now. Seriously, what I'm not going. We're not going to read it here. Thank you. Well, we hey. both have brown hair, and so hey, what can for, we say? For fifty dollars, we'll share it. With you. <laughs> <I> just, <laughs> <laughs> Lord have mercy. Well, you never People know. Just you. write anything. <laughs> But we're glad you're right. We're glad you're right. Yes, we do. I'm going to make donut balls. I beg your pardon? Donut balls. Well, I'm going to make uh, hot chocolate and eggnog. This is sent in by E.L. Connolly of... <laughs> Did you kick the bucket? No, I just wish when they come in here and work in the kitchen, they wouldn't move the furniture around. Well, they had that big thing in here to test out the camera. It was right there. <laughs> and that's why it got moved. Mm -hmm. We're sorry. 
sent in by E.L. Connolly of Camdenton, Missouri. Thank you very much. I'm going to do this fine recipe. Okay. But you got to get started yeah, first. Yeah, i got a lot of stuff to he's do. He's got so a lot of stuff I, to I'll do. I'll do it real fast. Just I'll make this hot chocolate and put it together. And then while Larry is whipping up the batter for his donuts, I'll do the eggnog. <laughs> you got two thirds of a cup of coca powder. Mm. This is from scratch. Three quarters of a cup of sugar. A quarter teaspoon of salt. Whew, that looks nasty. Don't favor nobody. Whew. Quarter teaspoon of salt. One and a half cups of half and half. Things have been rolling around the back of my car too long. All right, one and a half cups of half and half. Hmm. There it is. And you mix all this together. And I'm going to add four and a half cups of milk. And I'm going to mix all that together and heat it up while Larry is doing his stuff. Nothing. And this is makes my hot chocolate up. I'm not doing nothing. Well, let me see if I can get four and a half cups of I'm just of doing milk preparatory work preparatory to my preparation. Boy, I, you know what? I'm afraid. What are you afraid of? The that, dark? No, that I've got. <laughs> I got too small a pot, Harold Ford over there. <laughs> <laughs> what a buffoon. Well, that's it. <laughs> He's always saying terrible things about me. I would like to now say, what a knucklehead. I very seldom ever get to do this to Laban. <laughs> Boy, is he real dumb. Look at that. Let's see if we can get you a bigger one. That's it? No, what happened to the big ones we used to well, have? Well, that's all right. We'll, we'll get back. Is there a bigger one up there? <laughs> what there happened to you? Well, that's all right. We'll get by. That, he sure didn't go away from that in a hurry. Oh, mm -hmm. here, let me wash it. No, that's all right. It's clean. But it's got cobwebs in it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, he has no choice. He has to wash it. <laughs> watch me. <laughs> let me go over here near the sink area, folks. I'm just going <laughs> to sit and watch this. <laughs> what a terrible sight. And that's just Laban. You ought to see what he did in the sink. This is called sink cooking. Well, I know it's going to be delicious. This thing won't go <laughs> shut anymore. <laughs> Who has to clean up this mess today? We're not having a very good day here in the old cooking sheep kitchen because it started out that way. It's going to be one of those days. Now, if I just remember, don't stick my beak down in this hot oil that's been sitting here for two hours. Well, woo, go ahead. Go ahead and what? Well, I, <laughs> are you ready for me to do my? Well, if you want to, that I'll. Is that all there is to I'm going to separate four eggs, everybody, for another <laughs> recipe. And I guess you've seen <laughs> eggs being separated. This confused me a little. <laughs> I tried to fill both of these up at the same time. But everything kept falling out of this one. So I'm going to have to do this twice. Two cups of all-purpose flour. And guess what, <laughs> folks? Guess what? What? A couple of weeks ago, I, I bought this flour for another recipe here on Cooking Cheap. This is all-purpose cake and bread uh, stuff. So I'm going to use up the rest of it today. Two cups of that. Now, isn't that Cooking Cheap? That's what this show is all about, you know. Besides, I had this doggone bag laying around on my way, and I can't wait to get rid of it. There it is, all purpose. And it's a little bit finer than regular stuff is. I'm going to rip some of the stuff off of here because it's ruining my camera shots. <clears throat> and you know how I enjoy my camera shots. Okay, two cups. Where's the thing? Quarter a cup of sugar. Now, this doesn't say, I brought two kinds of sugar, and I brought some dusting sugar for a little bit later oh, on. Oh, good. I decided to get a little fancy today. I'm just going to use regular sugar for the, for the quarter of a cup of sugar part. Quarter of a cup. Is that a quarter of a cup? That's a cup. <laughs> Is this a quarter of a cup? It's going to be one of those days, folks. <laughs> oh, no. I'm just having quarter a Quarter of a cup of sugar. And... One extra one, just to be sure it's sweet enough. A teaspoon of salt. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. You got some salt, yeah. Akbar? Thank you. Johnson, I think, 
We're going to have to help each other through this program. This is, <laughs> you're right, Blind. Boom. We are headed toward immediate disaster. There's something terribly wrong with I just got this bad feeling, you know? A teaspoon of nutmeg. Ground nutmeg. Yeah! <laughs> I that just was so. Hot. I just have a funny feeling that there's something in the air, something that's just not real good. I don't know what it is. Now, uh, uh, baking powder. Three <laughs> tablespoons baking powder. That seems like an awful lot to me. Three teaspoons. I'm sorry. Oh, three teaspoons of baking powder. One, approximately. Three. Uh, quarter of a cup of oil, and I think the oil goes in there, but yeah, it does. Quarter of a cup, the oil goes in there in addition to what you're using in the thing. All right. And this has been sealed for our kiss. protection. It says mix oil, milk, and egg. That's what I just said. Do, don't what? Don't put it in the dryer. <laughs> This is terrible. <laughs> we have a minor problem here. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, no, I think I know what I'm doing. I, I might not, but hey, uh, what's new? Quarter of a cup. Well, I've got to beat my egg yolks over here. Can I put that in there? I can't put that in there. Mixed dry ingredients. Oh, she's trying to tell me to mix the dry <laughs> ingredients first. <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. Why didn't you tell me that, Doris? <laughs> It says mix the dry ingredients first. Then we're going to add the oil, the milk, the egg, and mix well. <laughs> I don't know. All right, now, Larry, I'm beating four egg yolks and a quarter cup of sugar. All right. <laughs> uh, we're wacky today down here. OK, now I've mixed all the dry <laughs> ingredients. And now I'm going to mix in the oil, lunk, the milk. We need uh, three quarters of a cup of milk. Leave me alone, Doris. Can't you see? I'm busy. I'm trying to do a TV show. <laughs> oh, you got milk all over your fine trousers. Speaking of Doris, I want to show everybody what Doris got us. We didn't show these off, these fine towelettes. So that we have something to wipe our hands on. We have matching ones. Dueling towelettes. What else? And the eggs, one egg beaten. How am I going to do that? I don't know. I'll put it in there and beat it. Now, my egg yolks and sugar are getting real creamy, lemony looking. Be careful, those things are looking real creamy. There they are. And I'm going to add some other stuff to them here in a minute. Now, I'm to the mix well part of mine. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to mix this well. I am in well. so much trouble. All right, three. Are you really? No, I'm just. You'll come out of it, I'm sure. All right, here's two cups of milk. You're a big boy. I have to add three cups of milk to this. So here's two cups. I wonder how thick this stuff is supposed and to be. one cup. Well, that worked out just like a charm. Thank you, God. I've been living on the right side. Oh, for heaven's sake. <laughs> Everyone and I'm knows also, that's a lie. I'm, gonna, I'm also going to be adding to this eggnog mixture, uh, to which I have four egg yolks, uh, a quarter of a cup of sugar, and three cups of whole milk, and now I'm adding one cup of heavy whipping cream from our cream pitcher. Does anybody have any idea how thick this stuff is supposed to be? Well, it looks to is me it like it's right to be thick? That thick. I don't know. That seems like it's awfully gloppy. Doris, don't laugh at me. Help me. Well, did how you, thick did is this you leave supposed the milk to be? Out of it? No, I put well, the milk in. Well, I guess that it. must be all right. It's right gloppy. Well, it says drop into 375 degree oil in a deep fryer. Boy, Use this. teaspoons to drop. Now I've got a mix. Don't give me ten minutes. I don't need it. I want to go home now. I wonder what happens if I, what, suppose I just do one of these and throw it in there. What do you think? I don't think I'll well, put do, the head in mine, but let's whatever see what you happens. Want to. If this thing gets leaden, I'm gonna put more stuff in it. All right. Well try all we can do is try one. 
All right, now here's my mixture in a double boiler, and I have to cook it until it gets warm and coats a spoon. Coats a spoon? Uh-huh. <laughs> now, in the meantime... Johnson, I'm coming to your place as soon as we get finished here. I, I wonder why. <laughs> I wasn't going to, but I am now. <laughs> I had sworn off good times for all of eight, 1988, and I put my elbow in egg. <laughs> How long you reckon this has got to go? It I says. Drain. <laughs> now. Just until it's brown? <laughs> I don't need yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, just until it's brown. Then you got to drain it. All right, I tell you what I'm going to do. I, I'm going to put it on a, here, and then I'm going to roll a little sugar here. on it. We're going to try one. Well, now, my, my mixture is. This may be a failure. Go ahead. Now, let me, all right, my mixture is cooking over hot water. But in the meantime, <coughs> in the nonce, I, I hit, this is the mixture that I made up yesterday. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. I've had a terrible accident with the uh, <coughs> sugar. Exploding sugar. And I want to thank these people for designing this <laughs> wonderful, this marvelous uh, thing here. Well, it, well I, this is the mixture that I cooked yesterday, and I'm going to pour it into this large mixing bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we ever ought to start this late again. And I've got to whip it. Whip it good now. I will. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is terrible. We've, uh, we have boiled over. <laughs> Maybe we ought to go on another show sometime. Now, I'm going to try this thing, Johnson. All right. Oh, it's hot. I, I don't think I can. I got it. Tell Maureen to shut up. I can hear her in the back. <laughs> She's been sick. <laughs> How is it? Well, it's a little doughy, but it's passable. So therefore, I'm now going to drop a whole bunch more in there, and <laughs> you're going to eat them whether you want to or not. All right, well, while you're doing that, I'm I gonna... think there's supposed to be a little more gooey than this, but who has time to mess with it? Now, I've got the four egg whites in this little pan right here, and I'm going to be making a... with a quarter of a cup of sugar, I and was... I'm going to whip them into submission. I was supposed to make another appearance after this program. I think you are. <laughs> you're the... a sight. <laughs> <laughs> I think this stuff was supposed to be goopier than it is. I really do. But I tell you what, this seems to be working fair. So I'm just rolling them out by hand well, like oh, that, and good. I'm sticking them in there, and they're not they're not raising any at all. But are they supposed to, really? Do you yeah. think they're supposed to puff up? I would think. Well, these aren't puffing. These things is just like rocks <laughs> in there. I believe we're gonna kill several people with this. What? Six. Which one of these nummies has to clean up today? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Poor Dick. Jim. <laughs> you picked the wrong day today, Jim. Oh, Jimmy. Yeah, little Jimmy. Well, not too many people here like him anyway. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no. <laughs> oh, look, he's signifying. He's signifying to us. <laughs> nice job. Doris, do we have a spatula? <laughs> Doris, if you can uh, get yourself together long enough to help us up here. <laughs> She's having such a good time today. You can hear her cackling in the background. Hand me that spatula. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, these egg whites are never going to. One of our true unmitigated disasters. <laughs> you want you, you want to review the things? No, you? I don't. Oh. <laughs> well, I don't want to give out the recipe for this mess. <laughs> Excuse me. But you go ahead if you want to. Well, I'm these are starting to puff up. They are starting to look pretty. I'm happy. Look at that one. That would look like it got a gland problem. Donut balls. Two cups of all-purpose flour, quarter cup of sugar, three teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of nutmeg. Throw that stuff in a, oh, the oil and the milk and all the beaten egg goes in there too. Well, this stuff, look at that. That's getting pretty. That's pretty, yeah. 
And uh, Laban's recipe uh, <laughs> is, is uh, a Something mess. Something or another. <laughs> All right, the hot chocolate, two thirds a cup of cocoa, uh, three quarters a cup of sugar, a quarter a teaspoon of salt, one and a half cups of half and half or light cream, and four and a half cups of milk. These are puffing up. They're puffing up. They're puffing up. And for the eggnog, you got four eggs separated, half a cup of sugar, quarter cup, a uh, teaspoon of salt, three cups of, of milk, a cup of whipping cream, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla, and some nutmeg. I want you to see this when we get back from this. I want you to see the startling overhead, startling overhead. Look, look, Dunkin' Donuts, eat your heart out. <laughs> I got nothing on me. Look at those, those big gnarly things. Have you ever seen such ugly things in your life? Well, let me tell you something, though. They're uglier than Johnson's sister. But let me tell you something, they're good. They are, and they did puff up. Look and at them. Look, and look at my... Uh, got all puffy. Oh, I've got yuck all over my... Here's, I'm gonna grate some, <laughs> some fresh nutmeg I'll, down I'll into the... I'll give you one, Hammerstrom. Here's some freshly grated nutmeg going down into the eggnog. And you see a high class operation like this show, we grate our own. <laughs> Excuse me. All those. I believe, I believe that all the stuff in the air has got to be a hazard to your lungs. Well, these things are doing marvelously. If I just hadn't have been so ugly about them, how do you keep them from getting gnarly looking like that, I wonder? Maybe somebody out there in TV land, huh? Could you ask for it, you got it, Toyota. <laughs> And it exploded all On over the, the front of, of that the camera. camera. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, well, let's get our letter in here. Yeah, let's get our litter in here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff. <laughs> Not only that, but I put his good oh, eye out. <laughs> the only one he Body had he could see witch. with. <laughs> all right, let's see what it says here. Yeah, sure. Hey, dummies. Well, that's the truth. Here's one for you. How about a recipe for noodles? And I mean the noodles, not the sauce. Let's see you chumps pull that off. And it's for Fernando Lamar of Torrance, California. <laughs> Fernando Lamar. Well, Fernando, we'll do it next week. We'll make our own noodles. Is this ready? Well, this isn't, but the, <laughs> the batch I made it previously is. Uh, thank heavens for that. <laughs> now, let's see. I, I never did kind of figure out how these two things they, came together. They don't. One is eggnog and one is hot chocolate. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, now, I don't know. Well, let's see. Let me put the eggnog over in the punch bowl. Uh, I'm glad my donuts came out all right. <laughs> oh, that is a foamy <laughs> I looking. I can't sit down until he gets out of my way. <laughs> and now, wait a minute. i got to serve the hot chocolate, but Larry, I'm scared to do it over there. I'm going to try this. Mmm. <laughs> hand, mm. hand me Fabulous. one of those cups. What cup? No, no, the, the mugs. I don't want to. Oh, no. Oh. We interrupt this disorganization to bring you the following television program. Mm. All right, hand me the other one. What? Well, we... I'm going to sit down. I'm tired. I'm, I'm especially tired of this show. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. Let, ooh, let me serve you uh, some uh, eggnog Oh, well, here. here, have one of these delicious uh, pellets uh, of joy. <laughs> <laughs> mess? This has got to be our all-time messiest one, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Here's why, it in your eye. Why did these smell like fried fish? <laughs> Doggone, I knew I'd forgotten something. I had some Mrs. Paul's in there earlier. Forgot mm. to take those out. This is good stuff. And so are these. We've, we, hey, look, I, I know it looks like a disaster, and it has been for the most part, but if you take your time, and you don't have Doris giggling in the background, you can probably concentrate. You can Woo, probably put this together with no good problem too. at all. Oh, I haven't tried the hot oh, chocolate. It's delicious. Tried the hot chocolate. Mm, mm, mm. Boy, I tell you. Good stuff. Well, listen, you all, uh, thanks for all the laughs you gave us, and goodbye. <laughs>